Hey guys, Spiritual Defense is back. My name is Christian and I'm excited to be with you. As always, we want to thank Kogan Self-Defense Academy for all that they do to get this out so that you guys can be challenged and encouraged. So thanks for clicking on this. Thanks for watching this. We want to just talk about spiritual defense in terms of those three components that make it so important. The first is to defend, to defend ourselves against the lies, against all those things that come against us, against apathy and fear. It's to disarm, to disarm the forces and powers of darkness that come against us. And lastly, it's to defeat those powers and walk in freedom and victory. You know, today is the last time this year that Spiritual Defense will be published, and it makes me think of a treadmill. Now, all things considered, I hate treadmills. Given the opportunity, I'll run outside, I'll run on a track, I will do anything other than get on a treadmill. Because I just feel like two things happen on a treadmill. Number one, you run to get nowhere. And number two, the temptation to stop is too great. You run two miles out, guess what? You're gonna to have to run two miles back. But on a treadmill at any given moment, you can just simply step off and there you are. Maybe I'm just not disciplined enough, I don't know, but the treadmill is not my friend. When we talk about this in terms of spiritual defense, we're at the end of the year, and I think it's time to talk about reflection. One of the things that will allow us to get better, to get stronger, to grow more in our spiritual life is to look back on this last year. So let me ask you, how long have you spent on the treadmill? How long have you spent doing the same things over and over again? And sometimes that temptation is too great. You just step off and wait till later. Guys, I wanna encourage you as you look back on this last year, find those places, find those times where you could have challenged yourself and didn't and make that renewed effort to get better, to bring people with you who make you better, to bring people with you that you can make better. And spiritually, we do that as we encourage one another to have faith, to have courage, to remember our purpose. Guys, it's no secret that every time we talk, the purpose of life is not combat sports, but it's an amazing backdrop to relate to the importance of our fight for purpose, our fight for faith, and our fight to remain faithful. So I hope this has encouraged you guys. We're almost at the end of 2021, and I encourage you, leave nothing undone. You've got one more week make it count. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you for clicking on this. Thank you for staying with me. I am encouraged to start out 2022 strong. Look forward to seeing you guys on the mats. Don't forget we're in Severna Park and Annapolis now. So lots of opportunities to train, lots of places and spaces to train. God bless you guys. Have a great week. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.